from the Holy Cross on behalf of Pastor Cushman, I'd like to welcome all of you to attend. Uh, many familiar faces, some new ones, and we welcome you as our guest to Holy Cross. You're uh, preparing for a real eventful service this morning with the King's Brass. As you, many of you know, the King's Brass travels throughout the United States for over 40 years, spreading the gospel through brass music, and you're in store for a real treat this morning. Uh, we are abiding to Santa Clara County restrictions, so please keep your face mask in place. And uh, if you are trying to, helping us to support the King's Brass Ministry throughout the, uh, their travels, please make out a check to Holy Cross. We will make sure that that gets forwarded to the King's Brass, but it's a little easier method of uh, accounting and, and, and bookkeeping. Uh, did I have any other notes at this moment? We're gonna remind you at uh, some point also, we have the CDs out front of the King's Brass. They have a new one, it's called Christmas Joy. It's gonna be a great stocking stuffer. So if you wanted to make sure that you get one, they'll, they'll have their table set up outside so you can purchase a CD. And with that, I'm not gonna take any more time away from some glorious music that's going to uh, be able to rejoice our Lord this morning. So, Tim and company, it's over to you. Seven hundred years before the birth of Christ, the prophet Isaiah wrote these words. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and you will call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us.
Uh, it's wonderful to be back here with you this morning with the King's Brass from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And we want to continue with a carol that is about a Bohemian Duke who on the day after Christmas, which is the Feast of St. Stephen's, went out and did good deeds for the people who lived on his land. As a result, we have this carol about the good king.
Well, at this point, we're going to go ahead and do a little children's message. I see several kids out here in the audience. So if you guys would like, come up here, sit in the front with me. We'll do a little children's message. I remember this from 2008. <laughs> I was confirmed here in the church in 2008. I remember doing the children's messages. you're probably wondering how we happen to play these instruments. And the answer is quite simple. You haven't heard us sing. <laughs> we would like you to join us in singing the carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. The brass and organ will introduce the hymn with a fanfare and simply watch us for the cue and join us in singing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
Please stand and join with us in singing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn King. One day God stood in front of all the angels of heaven and said, I have an announcement to make. I'm going to visit earth. And a great cheer was heard from all the angels. And Michael, the archangel, stepped forward and said, Lord, when you come to earth, I'll make sure that all the kings from around the whole world are there. They'll all come and bow down in front of you. I'll make sure at night we've doubled the amount of stars in the heavens. People look up in the sky and know that something special has happened. And Gabriel, the great musician, stepped forward and he said, Lord, when you come to earth, we'll have music like has never been heard before. Around the whole world, people hear the music of heaven and know that God has put his foot on planet earth. And God put up his hand and he said, I had something a little different in mind. I'm going to visit earth, but I'm going to visit earth in the form of a man. 
And there was silence in heaven. And he said, not only am I going to visit in the form of a man, I'm going to visit in the form of a baby and be taken care of by the humans I created. And he turned to Michael and said, instead of having all the kings worship me at my birth, let's just have two or three of the wisest come. Instead of doubling the amount of stars in the heavens, let's just have one really good bright one. And he turned to Gabriel and says, music, well, we have to have music. But instead of giving this music concert to everyone around the whole world, let's give this music concert to a few select individuals. Some of the average folks, some of the people who maybe never get to go to concerts. Some of the people who are working on the midnight shift. So one night some shepherds in the field heard the angels of heaven announcing that God had come to earth.
great opportunity to start going forward from here. I'm sure we've got God's ear at Holy Cross this morning, thanks to the King's Press, gave him kind of a wake up and say a little nudge. And we'd also like to include some of our friends and neighbors in our prayers this morning. So if you join me in prayer for those that have been touched, if you have any prayers that you would like Holy Cross to extend, please fill out the yellow card and give it to one of the ushers on your way out and we'll make sure that that's mentioned throughout our week. So if we could, this week we look, Lord, and ask you to watch over Kevin, Kellen, Audrey, Dan, Michael, Diane, Estelle, and those all around us, uh, Kip and Ivy, as we pray. We ask for the strength and the guidance for our church council this week. And for those that have, are having birthdays this week, Diane, Sharon, Lynn, Elizabeth, Tim, Pat, and Michael Hughes, we ask that you watch over all of those as special. And if you have some in your heart, please express them to the Lord. And we ask that you join us also now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, lead us not.
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Join with us in singing, Joy to the World. as the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and they found Joseph, Mary, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all those that heard it wondered at those things told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. <laughs>
join us, Emmanuel. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. And when Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all of the chief priests and scribes of the people, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it was written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of these shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. And when they had heard these things, they departed. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they came to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. But when they presented their treasures, they presented him with gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
in London, England, at the great Westminster Abbey Cathedral, they read these Christmas verses every year. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He came unto his own, but his own wouldn't receive him. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Charles Wesley, in his wonderful carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, gives the whole good message in that last stanza. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Mild he lay his glory by, born that man no more should die, born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king.
And we'd like to close this morning with this carol that invites all the faithful to come worship the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Okay, now do you have the Christmas spirit? <laughs> okay. If you'd like to continue that, remember they do have CDs available and it helps to support their cause and their travels and their ministry throughout the country. About 40, you have seats. Go ahead, you have seats. Uh, about 40 years ago, I was uh, listening to KPEX radio and I heard this brass group. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. You know, we were kind of playing around with a brass group here at Holy Cross, thanks to Gladys Brewster, if you remember Gladys. And uh, I thought, wow, how do you figure out who that was? Well, that was pre-internet. So I had to go and write down at 9.47 on this Tuesday, I heard this brass group, and I wrote a letter to KPEX. And they responded, and they came back. Well, this was a group called King's Brass out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. How do you get in touch with that guy? So I figured it out, and I wrote him a letter. And probably six weeks, month, two months go by, and I hear back, and he says, yeah, we've got some uh, records, and we've got some sheet music, and you're welcome to uh, access that. So we kind of talked a little bit, and got to go. And you know, we tour out to California. Every once in a while, we go to Mount Hermon, and uh, we can include Holy Cross in on that tour as well. So we kind of ponied up, and we had Tim come out here, so this is probably close to his, maybe the 20th visit to Holy Cross, and we're really happy. But along the way, some young man was playing tuba down here at Union Middle School, and his mom came along and said, you know, could my son play with your King's Brass here at Holy Cross? And I went, oh gosh, you know, 
we'll have to see, can he really play? I don't know. And you know, many are called, few are chosen, so this young man called Dan Davis came along and sat in next to Kirk Zimmer, Dr. Zimmer, and uh, he was kind of playing along, and boy, he could play pretty well. You know, and then all of a sudden, the King's Brass came here to visit Holy Cross, and there was Dan in his seventh grade playing tuba, and we said to Tim, you know, Tim, this young man's got some potential. He's a good Christian. He's been confirmed here at Holy Cross, and we'd like to uh, consider him in the future. And Tim kind of laughed, and time went on. Dan went on to get a degree in music and uh, audition for the King's Brass, and now we're proud to have uh, Dan Davis joined the King's Brass on tour. This is going to be his final year. He's working on his doctorate in music, so we wish him well, but he's got the heart of God in him, and uh, that's really what we're called to do. So, <laughs> praise God. Once again, I'm just going to encourage you, if you are going to make a donation to the King's Brass to help with their travels, make it out to Holy Cross. Uh, the collection boxes are in the narthex as you exit the church today. And uh, let's see, I was told that there are several announcements that need to be made. Uh, of course, we have our last Advent service here Wednesday on the 15th. We encourage you to come. That's at 7 o'clock. It's a very special service. Uh, and then we will have two services on Christmas Eve at 3.30. Is it 3.30? Yes, 3.30 and 7 o'clock. And there will not be an adult study this morning. So uh, with that, if you please rise. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us. Give us his peace this day forever and evermore. Amen. Go in peace.